In this problem, we have to find the derivative of this function. We're going to use something called the quotient rule. The quotient rule says if you have a function f and you divide it by a function g and you take the derivative, think of f as your top function and g as your bottom. And the quotient rule says it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all being divided by the bottom one squared. So in our example here, e to the x is our top function and x squared is our bottom function. So let's go ahead and apply the quotient rule. So f prime of x is equal to, so the derivative of the top. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So we just get e to the x times the bottom minus the top function, so e to the x, times the derivative of the bottom, which is simply 2x by the power rule. Right, you bring down the 2 and you subtract 1. It's all being divided by the bottom 1, and that whole thing is squared. Let's go ahead and check our work. So it's the derivative of the top, which is just e to the x, times the bottom, minus the top function, which is e to the x, times the derivative of the bottom, which is simply 2x by the power rule. Um, let's clean this up. I think we can uh, factor some stuff out and make it look a little bit better. So f prime of x is equal to, looks like we can pull out an x here. So this is x, and then parentheses, x e to the x. You see what I did there? I, I put the x in the front, okay? It makes it a little bit cleaner. x times x is, is x squared, so all is good. Then here, I'm gonna pull out the x, and I'll just put the two in the front here, so minus two e to the x. It's all being divided by, properties of exponents say that we multiply, so two times two is four. All right, looks like we're gonna be able to cancel one of the x's, so f prime of x, is equal to, let's see, we lose a copy of x. So we have x e to the x minus two e to the x over x cubed. And that should be the final answer. I'm sure some of you are wondering, could you factor out the e to the x? Uh, you could, but it doesn't really cancel or help in any way, so that's why I didn't factor it out. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.